uh, welcome friends in our SSRS tutorial in this tutorial we are going to show you how to create a newsletter report in SSRS basically this kind of the report are showing the performance of a sales executive via salesperson or for a specific region so in this session we are going to show you how to create a newsletter report actually newsletter reports are also known as a free text reports in ssrs so here we are going to learn this so this is the example uh, of newsletter report now we are going to create same kind of the report here uh, for this uh, we are using some static text and uh, to display sales and quantity we are using graphical charts and we are showing the summary of the sales also for the salesperson here uh, to create a free from report or a newsletter report we have already a blank report and we have a data source in our report to connect our database and we have added a data set to pull the data from my database so i am using this data like this that is my dummy data you can see that if i am going to run this query then you can see the output uh, apart from this i am using free text to show the information in my report and you can pull this information from the microsoft site so i have also pulled this information from over there now i am going to report builder in report builder first of all i need to add a uh, list in my report now you can see i have added a list to my report okay just after adding the list to my report first of all i need to add a data set to this so i am going to add a data set to my list that um, is yeah data set name okay now i have added data set my report now what i am going to do here because we need to create a pagination pagination to the list so here what i am going to do here i am going to the uh, row group and column group pane and right click on it and add a parent group so my parent group is directory okay and add a okay now you can see i have added this now just i need to delete this delete this column okay delete column only same in the details I need to delete this again delete group only okay now I need to insert a rectangle now I have inserted a rectangle my report in the list, list box okay so what I need to do here I need to pull this uh, rectangle okay okay now i have a rectangle now in this rectangle i need to add a another rectangle and fill this rectangle color as a gray okay now you can see uh, i have added this rectangle and in this rectangle i need to insert a text box in this text box i am going to change the color of okay now font size should be 10 and should be bold 
and right click on and go to the expression window in expression window I need to fill some information like this news letter for then I need to pass data set value from the data set that is name of directory and click on ok button and the preview of this report now you can see that is the first central then south yeah okay now I need to add another text box just blow up and in this text box I am saying uh, for the salesperson and it should be 9 and should be bold so I am saying go to the expression again and saying hello I am showing the value for the salesperson so it should be hello hello plus I need to pass the salesperson so the name of the salesperson is full name then I need to add a comma also for this I am using the comma okay now we have uh, passing the value for salesperson okay now I need to add another text text box uh, in this text box we are passing the static value uh, and this static value would be the same for every sales person so I am going to my notepad and copy this information from here and paste this information here okay now you can see now what I am going to do here for this text box I am change the font size 8 okay now we are going to preview of this report again now you can see uh, we have the pagination okay Uh, then what I need to do here I need to add a another text box in the report in the same rectangle and here we are going to show the sales of that particular salesperson so I am going to change the font size 9 should be black and then in go to the expression of this text box here I am saying compilation on your and since should be in dollar that's why first plus we are choosing the value from the total sales it should be the sum of the total sales sum because uh, we are connecting a string to numeric so we need to convert it to a string and uh, we are showing only two numeric digits, two uh, value from the decimal, so it should be round. And we are saying round should be only two values. So here I am passing two, then close this, then close this. Okay, click on OK button. Now uh, just preview of this report again now you can see total is coming here now here I need to add one more thing here I need to add table so I am going to insert a table in the table section uh, 
before adding a table i need to insert a i am uh, that is product sales date quantity and total sales so i am using adding another column that is sales so here i need to change the font color background color as a white okay and font size would be 8 and that is uh, our header it should be bold and font size should be 9 and uh, same for the font color and preview of this report again what we are going to do here we are going to add a we are doing some settings in report right now okay so here you can see uh, I am adding a report header uh, to the tablets so I'll go to the property and change the color of as a maroon same for the call uh, call road uh, I'm going to the property again and change the color as a maroon okay now for this uh, size uh, we are going to uh, reset the height of the tabular data so it should be 18 same for the columns we are change it as a 18 so these are the these are some settings it is not necessary but uh, for the report uh, to create a meaningful report it should be done it should be require some manual changes okay now i'm going to preview of this report now you can see that uh, here one more thing okay so first of all I need to add a one more add group like add group child group there is no need so first of all yeah I am going to add a line inside line so in line And we are going to change the font of this uh, line so color of this light age and size of this we are saying 3 pt okay now you can see uh, that uh, we have uh, created just go to above and same for So you can see, uh, yeah. And for the date, we need some formatting for date. So go to the date text box property and number in date. We are going to mmdd by 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 format. Okay. Same for the sales. Uh, we are going to sell this text box property and in number and in currency we are removing two decimal place from here oh 
okay and uh, just build your this port again now you can see okay so here now we need to add another text box under uh, rectangle to generate some chart here and we are going to little bit okay we are now we are going to generate some charts in our report and change the border color now oh, it should be border style should be solid and border color should be gray okay now we have uh, now just preview of this report now you can see the preview now we have to create some charts so right click on this text, uh, rectangle and insert a chart and then choose a pie chart for this pie chart what I am going to do here I am just going to upside uh, just wait Okay. Uh, okay. First of all, I need to remove the border border style of the chart is none. Then. I need to change the report, uh, chart title as a product product quantity sold key sold okay and change of this color again now change the color of this that is would be 9 and bold and colors font color should be okay now here uh, now you can see that uh, in the value I need to see the per the values that is quantity for same for the product I need to per the product also as a product name okay now I am going to preview this report again for this uh, before I am going to the preview I am going to the legend property and saying it should be in the blow side okay and I am saying that And preview of the report now now you can see the pie chart is available on the newsletter now I am going to change some more setting I need to show the so so data label and the data label size should be 7 and 
color should be maroon okay now we have created a pie chart for quantity sold now you can see the quantities now I am going to add a another chart to my report and the chart is our we are adding a column chart to my report in column chart uh, first of all I need to remove uh, I need to set the border of this so we are going none then chart title product sales sales on the upper chart we are showing the quantity in the second chart we are showing the sales so here again I am going to change the color we have changed the title size 9 and the font is a font color is ok now because in this title uh, in this newsletter we don't need the axis so we are removing the axis from here and we are going to change the size of this by default it should be 6 uh, same for the y x axis it should be the 7 now we are going to uh, we are going to see his property and in sales property uh, we are going to the sales and here we are going to the group properties we are going to show product ok now what we are going to do here again we are removing the legend from the column chart ok and here what I am going to do here I am going to and just pull it on the above and now I am just ok now you can see that uh, which kind of setting I did in my report ok now I am just going to preview of this report now ok now here I am going to go to the column and show the labels because label size is very big so I am going to change the label size again that is 6 and and go to the series label properties and choose the number and is the currency and removing the decimal placage ok now we I am going to preview this report again Now you can see we have generated our newsletter. Yeah, so it is very easy to generate a report like this. This is, and uh, we can say that uh, there are some static values, some summaries, some uh, display, some charts. So it is very easy to create a newsletter in the uh, in SSRS and uh, with the help of some techniques so you can see it is very easy to create a free form report or a newsletter report in SSRS please subscribe my channel on YouTube for more videos on SSRS, SSIS, SQL Server, Data Warehouse, Data Modeling, Azure Data Warehouse, Azure Database, Azure Data Lake Thank you for watching us.